The justice system has made incredible strides towards accommodating individuals with disabilities. Let's just take the sort of the getting in the door, the accessibility component of it. Um, prior to the ADA, particularly in state courts, accessibility was a real issue. And in fact, one of the cases, the case that the Supreme Court decided um, that the ADA applied to the state was actually a case involving accessibility to a courthouse. In that particular case, um, Mr. Lane was a paraplegic. Um, he was in a wheelchair. He had a misdemeanor charge, a criminal misdemeanor charge, very minor charge. But because the courthouse in this uh, county in Tennessee didn't have an elevator, he had to crawl up using his, his hands two flights of stairs. He, his testimony is that the courthouse personnel just pointed at him and mocked him while he was doing this. After that, he refused to do it again. Uh, there was some evidence that the, the county um, sheriffs offered to carry him up, but that was a humiliating position to put him in, and he refused. So he brought a lawsuit against the Polk County, the county where the courthouse was, saying, you have to make this courthouse accessible. And the county pushed back, saying, well, that's under the ADA. It's under Title II. That's not the employment provisions, but there's more to the ADA than just the employment provisions, and said, no, we're not going to do it. And it went up to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court said, yes, the ADA applies, and they have to make justice accessible. Everybody has a right, you know, to the, to, to the courthouse. You know, there's two things in the justice system of justice that we have that you have a right, and one of them is to appear, is to be able to be heard. And the second is actually to serve on a jury, in my opinion. Those are the two most important things, and, and um, that's the other thing the ADA has done, is it's really opened opportunities for people with disabilities to sit on juries.